Hello everyone, I'm here to present our work tuning the hyperparameters of anytime algorithms using deep reinforcement learning done with my colleagues Justin Svegliato and Shlomo Zilberstein at University of Massachusetts Amherst. Anytime algorithms are a class of algorithms that find a suboptimal solution quickly and then iterate upon them. That makes them great for solving problems in real time because depending on the time available, they can be interrupted at a suitable time to act on the latest solution. Now, every execution of an anytime algorithm has a performance profile. That is, how the quality of the latest solution changes with time. Now, considering that there is a cost of time, which is often exponential, the algorithm should be interrupted at a point that strikes a balance between solution quality and cost of time. However, it is challenging to know that point in advance because the performance profile is not known in advance. Recent work has applied deep reinforcement learning to decide whether or not to interrupt at any time algorithm as it executes. The decision is based on quality, the elapsed time, and any algorithm specific features that would indicate whether or not the expected gain in quality if the algorithm is, is, is allowed to execute would be worth the additional time cost. Our contribution in, uh, in, this, in this work is to extend deep RL to also adjust hyperparameters during execution. Our approach is non-myopic and decision theoretic, which means that is, it considers the long-term effects of changing those hyperparameters. Then we apply our approach to any time weighted A star to adjust its weight in a contract setting, that is, when there is a deadline to solve a search problem. It means that the cost of time is zero before the deadline and it is infinite after the deadline. Now let us quickly review any time weighted A star or AWA star, which is an any time version of the heuristic search algorithm A star. It is based on the following design principles. First, the heuristic is multiplied by a weight greater than one. As a result, the weighted heuristic might become inadmissible, leading to a suboptimal solution, but which is found faster. Then the algorithm continues the search by pruning those subtrees that cannot lead to a better solution than the latest solution. Ultimately, the optimal solution is guaranteed. In any time weighted A star, the weight affects the performance profile by providing a trade-off between quality and time. With a higher weight, better quality solutions are found in the short term, compromising the long-term quality. By quality, I mean something that is inversely proportional to the cost of a solution. This figure shows two sample executions of any time weighted A star on a particular pro problem. This figure shows that a weight of 2 is better when the deadline is contract 1 and a weight of 1.5 is better when the deadline is contract 2. The best weight depends not just on the contract duration but normally also on the problem domain and the problem instance. Earlier work has tried to find a best static weight offline or has, has aimed to tune the weight dynamically at runtime based on certain heuristic principles, like decreasing the weight after every solution is found. In this work, we apply our decision theoretic technique to adjust the weight at runtime using deep reinforcement learning. Now let us define the metal level MDB for adjusting any time weighted A star. The action space is to either decrease or increase the weight from a predetermined set. That, that set could be, for example, one, two, three, four, and five. That would mean that increasing, uh, that the increasing action would increment the weight by one. Between every two decisions, the anytime algorithm executes for delta time duration. The state features are the quality of the latest solution, the time remaining, and AWA star features such as the mean g value of the of the nodes in the open list the current weight the heuristic of the starting node then there are the search problem specific features such as the number of cities if we are solving the traveling salesman problem and then there are the system features such as the cpu availability 
The reward function is simply the change in solution quality due to increasing or decreasing the weight. That way, the cumulative reward would be equal to the final solution quality, which is our objective. The transition function is not known explicitly. That is why deep reinforcement learning is, is an ideal solution to solving this MDP. Now let's see what a typical episodes look like when we apply the popular DQND parallel algorithm for adjusting any time weighted A star. First, you initialize the episode with a search problem and with a starting weight such as a weight of say 2. Then, based on the state features we just discussed and shown in the left half of this figure, the DQN adjusts the weight. Then the anytime weighted A star algorithm executes for delta duration. Then based on the feedback that is based on the next state and the reward it gets, the DQN agent updates its policy. The step and learn loop continues until either the optimal solution is found or the, or, or the deadline is reached. For our experiments, we compared DQN having accept, access to weights 1, 1.5, 2, 3, 4, and 5 against static AWA star with a weight of 1, static AWA star with a weight of 1.5, and so on, the same set of weights. These weights have been found to work well in prior literature. We had a small neural network with two hidden layers and we used epsilon greedy uh, for exploration. We had the following domains and the following contracts. For our contracts, we did not use an actual wall time limit, but we had a node expansions budget for the sake of re reproducibility of our experiments. The first domain we have is the sliding puzzle with a contract of 6000 nodes. Then we have the inverse sliding puzzle in which the cost of moving a tile x equals to 1 upon x. The contract is again 6000 nodes. Then we have the well-known traveling salesman problem with contract of 3000 nodes. Then we have the city navigation problem which simulates going from a location in one city to a location in, an, in another city and the contract is 2400 nodes. We trained our approach on 12,000 random instances for each of these domains and these instances had varying difficulty. Then for each of these domains, we tested each approach on 500 identical random instances of varying difficulty. The following box plots show the results. On the y-axis is the solution quality defined precisely to be the ratio between the optimal cost and the cost of a solution. However, in practice, we used the heuristic of the starting state as an estimate of the optimal cost because we could not calculate optimal cost for all problem instances. In these box plots, the crosses denote the mean. So you see that for static AWA star, the best uh, weight for, 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 for achieving the highest average solution quality varies uh, across domains. For the sliding puzzle, the best static weight is a weight of 5. For the inverse sliding puzzle, the best static weight is a weight of 1.5. For a traveling salesman problem, it is 2. For a city navigation problem, it is again 2. However, our approach gets the best average solution quality across the domains. This figure shows our approach solving a particular instance of sliding puzzle. The view curve is the solution quality plotted against computation time. The green curve shows the weight plotted on the secondary y-axis. This figure shows that DQN uses a high weight immediately to find one solution at least. Then it keeps the weight low, sacrificing immediate gains to achieve higher quality in the long run. Then as the deadline is approached, it increases the weight rapidly to find more solutions quickly. The faded green line shows that the weight is adjusted in a similar way on most episodes. The second figure shows the DQN's learning curve on sliding puzzle. The blue curve shows the policy increasing over time. The green curve shows that initially it learns to use mostly higher weights during episodes but later it learns to use a more nuanced policy consisting of mostly lower weights as shown in the previous figure. 
This figure shows which features the trained DQN network is most sensitive to in decreasing order. The most important feature is the quality of the latest solution. The second most important feature is the heuristic of the starting state, which can be considered a measure of the difficulty of the instance. The next most important feature is the current weight. Then comes the quality upper bound, which is inversely proportional to the cost lower bound, that is the least F value in the open list. Then comes the time, which shows that the DQN approach is highly aware of the deadline. The rest of the features are the statistics in the open list. To summarize, we have introduced a general purpose decision theoretic approach to optimize hyperparameters apart from stopping point of any time algorithms using deep reinforcement learning. Then we applied our approach to any time weighted A star to adjust its weight and show that it is effective on a range of problems as compared to using just static weights. In the future, we will apply our approach to other anytime algorithms, such as tuning the growth factor of the algorithm RRT star. Thank you.